this update can be considered the most expansive one since the release of Fusion 360 Electronics. From a completely new library and component search placement experience to a seamless migration of Eagle content, considerable improvements in design reuse, and a much faster 3D experience, and much more. Now, let's get into it. Welcome to Fusion 360 Electronics. I'm Ed Robledo from the Fusion 360 family to tell you about the new and improved features in this latest update for Fusion 360. Let's begin with the new place component panel that I'm sure it's going to be one of your favorites. Browsing libraries and finding the correct component for your schematic requires navigating thousands of available components to locate the part you need. Now we've made this much more accessible. The next time you start adding components to your schematic, you're gonna notice the do place component panel. We ditched the modal dialog box and replaced it with a unique panel, making it so much easier to pinpoint and preview the part you need by adding better search options. Search filters enable you to identify and switch between sources. The selected parts can be previewed at the bottom of the panel and any available links and the component metadata. Adding parts is as easy as double clicking the component or simply drag the component into the schematic workspace. Components that have footprint variants can be expanded and previewed, making it easier to choose a variant you require for your design. The new panel coupled with the new library manager interface, it's gonna optimize your design with fewer steps and less guesswork. Since I mentioned the library manager, let me tell you more about it. Many of you have shared that existing library manager made it challenging to find the correct library and knowing the library source was not obvious. The new interface will optimize your design time with fewer steps and less guesswork whether the content is local or stored on the Autodesk cloud or shared through library.io. You ask us to make it obvious from whom the libraries were coming from and what did they contain before you installed them. Coupling these filters to identify the library origin and a more obvious update experience has cleared the way to a more productive and an enjoyable design experience. I have great news for our Autodesk Eagle users. Many of you reached out and asked us to add design blocks to Fusion 360, and we have delivered. Design blocks allow you to reuse a portion of a design or an entire design into your current creation. Avoid spending countless hours relaying out the same technology used on other designs. You will now be able to insert design blocks made in Eagle right into your Fusion 360 schematic or board. We're also introducing multiple ways to leverage smaller, more reusable subcircuits of third-party reference designs with the capability of inserting a schematic or inserting a PCB straight into your design. Merging contents of one design into another could create a myriad of challenges with net naming and part naming collisions. Rest assured, we have taken precautions to show you both the source and the current net name and part names, even providing you with control over how the merge signal names. Add your existing blocks or insert your existing schematic into your current design and make short work of building new designs from existing assets and developing better circuits in less time. I'm gonna move over to the PCB workspace and let you know of the performance improvements you've been asking for and our team has delivered. The 3D PCB capabilities in Fusion 360 Electronics are groundbreaking. Never before has an application offered a unified front that delivers an authentic 3D PCB integration utilizing parametric, solid model geometry that users have grown accustomed and expecting in a mechanical design tool. You told us you've been experiencing performance problems around 3D PCB generation. Design with large numbers of stitching vias, cutouts, or other cut operations. As of this update, we're happy to report 
that we have vastly reduced the time to generate the 3D PCB model by almost 90% with a baseline average of 25%. Paying particular attention to boards with large holes or interior cutouts. This effort will vastly reduce your design time when working with PCBs with a high drill and hole counts. And with more to come, you can expect even further improvements in your productivity. Let's now go over to the Fusion 360 Library Editor. Fusion 360 includes thousands of components in its repository of libraries, but there might be times you have to build your own part. In Fusion 360, creating parts with 3D model is simple. From the library editor, you could access the package workspace, which includes a package calculator that has all of the IPC compliant templates and others. Sockets are a great way to ensure you're building flexibility in your designs. With the March update, our team enhanced the template to include more options for sockets making designing these complex mechanical components faster and more flexible than ever before. Expanding the drop menu for round lead sockets, you will now find the option for rectangle leads, which use a double leaf context to hold the IC pins in place under tension. These models are fully parametric and the corresponding footprints are built to IPC specifications. I'm going to remain here in the library editor and tell you some more about the improvements we did to the DFM template. The next time you use one of the three DFM templates, you will notice our team has added a roundness option that allows you to select the roundness percentage. Many users prefer using the DFM style components since it has a shorter bond wire length providing higher electrical performance than leaded packages due to less inductance. I'm going to stay with the library editor to tell you about our next update. I'm sure some of you have been working on a footprint or a symbol that has possibly hundreds of pads or pins. After a quick review, maybe some of the pins or the pads are slightly off a few grid points or you just want to arrange them differently. Well, Fusion 360 Align Command is the perfect solution for this problem and can clean up your components in just a few clicks. However, we recognize that the Align Command was not discoverable, so we've added it to the primary toolbar. While we're at it, we decided to add the Align to the schematic editor as well. After laying out your components within your 2D PCB workspace, I'm sure you will like to review the 3D model of your circuit board. Well, after selecting the push to 3D option, you may notice that some of your components are represented by these dark gray boxes in 3D PCB. No worries. This only means that some of your components don't have an assigned 3D model. Well, for this update, you will now be able to review what parts have and don't have a 3D model assigned directly from the PCB workspace. From the Go to 3D Model dialog box, you can now check the list of components. The ones that have the alert means that there's no 3D model assigned to them. You can solve this by editing the library used on your design and adding the 3D model or using the Add the Custom Model directly from the board or the schematic. In the Package Workspace, you will use the correct template and plug in the mechanical values of the part. And in a matter of moments, our part is correctly mapped. It is always best to work with a realistic 3D model. That way you can catch any enclosure interfaces and truly optimize your component placement. The final stage of your PCB design is generating the manufacturing files to get your design made. Equally important is creating your design documentation. The design documentation will not only have illustrations of your design, but it will also include instructions for manufacturing exported in a file format compatible with everyone to be able to read. For this update, we've included PDF as one of the export formats in the image section of the CAM processor command.
With the output defined, it is possible to select the layers that contain your manufacturing details. Exporting your manufacturing data will automatically include your design documentation. This method is more manageable than exporting a PDF directly from the design editor. Excellent news for our Autodesk Eagle users migrating to Fusion 360 Electronics. Beginning with this release on the first launch of Fusion 360s, users will be prompted to migrate their existing Eagle libraries to Fusion 360, automatically importing their parts and ensuring a smooth transition to Fusion 360 Electronics. At the moment, this is only available for PC users. I'm pretty sure many of you have tried or looked for a tool to do some basic simulation on some basic circuit trees. Let me tell you about Tinkercad. Tinkercad circuit has been globally recognized as the easiest to use electronic encoding platform available. Access to Tinkercad circuits is entirely free and you are able to breadboard your design and perform simulations. Well, earlier this year, we announced that Tinkercad circuits designs could be exported directly to Fusion 360 Electronics. In this Fusion 360 update, we have expanded our libraries to include more of the components that will work between Fusion 360 Electronics and Tinkercad. We are really excited about this update and we're certain that you will as well. Our user experience and development teams have engaged with you and gathered your feedback to reassure that we are improving and adding the features you need to enhance and optimize your design experience with Fusion 360. I'm sure the component panel with all its features and search options is gonna be one of your favorites. Migrating to Fusion 360 is becoming easier for our Autodesk Eagle users since support to design blocks and migration of libraries is now available. Thank you for joining us. All this and more with Fusion 360.